Welcome to the Windows 10 and computer channel and of course uh, there are several things why you might want, several reasons why you might want to change your PC name. Um, it has to do with different ways that you can use your PC on a network. By default Microsoft gives PCs a alphanumeric and uh, it's kind of a complex you know naming system with letters and numbers and if you have more than one PC, it's gonna can be hard to know which one is what. So you know what? You can rename your PCs. Now I did a video showing you how to turn on the uh, remote desktop, and you might have noticed that the PC I connected to is called Main PC. That is the name I had given it because it was my main computer. But you can give it, and I probably would say give it the name of the brand of the PC you are. Or if you have a specific use for it, maybe give it a name that is for that use. So how do you change the name and why should you change it? Well, first for remote desktop capabilities, you might have noticed that it's kind of weird to enter all these weird characters just to connect to a PC. But not just that, if you use file sharing on a network, you might not know you know, if 2H0B7A is what PC, if you have more than one PC. I got here several PCs and I try to actually identify them by name as to what they are all about. So for example, my um, Insider PC, I will tend to name Windows Insider. My desktop, I named, um, you know, my desktop PC. But on the um, main laptop that I'm using now, I'm going to actually call it Acer Nitro 5 because I know that's it's going to be easy to actually find. Where do you change the name? Simply go into your settings. Once you're in your settings, go into system. And the bottom you have about. Here you've got information about your system, but you've got a button. So the de device name you see there at the top, desktop 2EH720E which is kind of weird, rename this PC. So you'll go here and you'll change the name. So I'm going to call it Acer Nitro 5 and just do this. There are no spaces allowed in the names. So you might want to have some kind of short name. And here I'll just click Next. Once this is done, you'll have to restart your PC in order for this to actually work. So you might click the Restart Now button, or if you're working on something, you can restart later, and actually this is going to happen when you actually restart your computer. So this is the way to change the name of your PC when it's all cryptic and bizarre. And by giving it an official, easy-to-understand name, well, if you're on a network or if you do some remote desktop, you'll always know what PC is what and how to access. It's easier to actually understand where you're at and what PC you're connecting to, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.